Hey there guys, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatari from I Love Qatar, and I'm on the Logos ship. This is the floating book fair. And it's actually quite special. Actually, let me just show you over there. They've got like a showing you an example of what the cabin looks like. And then over here is a little lifeboat where you sit down, they give you a little bit of an introduction as to what to expect um, on the ship. So it's pretty cool. And then over here on the left hand side, they you know they give us a little bit of a historical tour. You know, from the 1970s all the way up to the 2000s and how they progressed. I would show you what the outside of the ship looks like, but I was stopped by a security guard who said that you were not allowed to take pictures outside of the ship, only inside, so... Secrets! <laughs> so this is what it looks like inside. Yes. It's pretty impressive because you, there's lots of different staff um, on this boat that are from all over the world. You have people from South Korea, so South Africa, you know, uh, met somebody from Namibia as well. So it's really nice to see so many different nationalities. Um, yeah, so there you go. All right, so I've got my basket and I'm ready to do some book shopping. This is going to be awesome. So this is what the place looks like. I'm not going to be talking really loud because I don't want to disturb people browsing. But yeah, you've got lots of different books. They use units, by the way. So the 100 units equals 12 reals. And so you'll notice, for example, look at this book. It's 150 units for this book. And here's a conversion rate as well. So you got to do a little bit of math, so it's educational as well. So one of the really cool things is that they've got loads of different books. Spiritual life, devotion, um, travel, environment, applets, you know, lots of different stuff. And uh, I just discovered that there were 50 different nationalities of staff in the, on this boat. So it's really cool, you know, bringing everyone together and, uh, you know, sharing in the awesomeness that is uh, literature. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, I really would like to see many more people come on down and check out the books. Um, they've got books from all different, you know, not all different languages, but many different languages. And uh, it, it would have been nice to have seen, I don't know, maybe the Ministry of Culture get involved to, um, I don't know, have some Qatari history books since this boat drive, you know, drives. <laughs> um, this boat is available. Wait, what is it? A, a boat? Ships? about what is the word <laughs> anyway i don't know why i cannot think my losing the books are sucking the words out of my brain that's what i'm saying anyway <laughs> the uh, it would be nice to have just qatari books on this boat too you know like leaving a little bit of our mark um as you can see here are some toys and that sort of thing for people to enjoy uh, yeah let me just uh, quickly give you a little bit of a jump cut sales sales that's the word sales Okay, ship sales. <laughs> and this is interesting. I wonder why it says Christians only. I mean, I'm a Muslim, but maybe I want to read. I want to know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> so I wonder if they would stop me. The silence language of love for Christians only. Interesting. <laughs> so there's, a, a, you know, a huge variety of books here. Gardening, and it's not just books, by the way. There are, there are. They've got CDs, souvenirs, um, little trinkets, toys, bookmarks, of course. You know, there's lots of different things for you to to enjoy. Yeah, I, I recommend you just come on down and check it out. Bring your kids and encourage them to draw characters of Mr. Bean and Arnold and Beckham when he used to have long hair. I couldn't take a picture or of the boat from the outside, but here's a magnet. So this is what the boat looks like. It's the Logos Hope. And you can buy a cup too. So you can feel like, yeah, I'm drinking water off of a ship that sails on water. Afa, where's Qatar? This is a book that you guys gotta check out. I think I might buy this. 501 Must Visit Natural Wonders. Like, check out that golden river right down there. That's pretty awesome. So I just grabbed a couple of souvenirs and yeah, this over here, this is like the, the bargain area, like the bargain bucket. So you can come out at, past the checkout counter. By the way, let me just quickly say, bring some cash with you because sometimes their uh, credit card machine thing, you know, goes down. And uh, yeah, you, did, you don't want to go home empty handed. And so yeah, this is what to expect. Three books and a souvenir bag for real. That's an amazing bargain. And now, if you move forward, this is where we see the welcome to the journey of life. We get to go through this little pathway over here. It's going to be cool. Check it out. So here is the journey of a dude in a bike acting all cool on the hill. He's like, yeah. And then there's like some dude remembering when he did a business transaction. 
with, let's say he's Shia. That's uh, Shia Ali, right over there. And then this guy over here is like, hey, what's up? He's like looking at something right over here. Like, what is he looking at? Nobody knows. Looks over to the right and she's like, Rad, everybody's riding bikes. Like, this is like a utopia right over here. And she's like praying. She's like, I hope one day I find my green scarf. You see, because she's, she's not wearing it. So she's like, I want to find it. Now, over here, this dude is like, hey kids, don't do bad things. You should pray and don't fight. Ride your bike with your family instead of going to a strip club and dig a hole instead of sleeping by a tree. Oh, lessons learned. So this guy's like, hey, because you learned lessons, you get 500 reals. The guy goes ahead and donates the 500 reals. He's like, yeah, we'll give it away. This guy over here is like, casino time, baby. Time for me to gamble. Oh, it's an Arabic too. And so what happens is that these guys are partying, you know, checking out girls and going to a casino and everything. And although he's broke, oh, he's broke now. He's like, yeah, let me time this to the back. Okay. And he gets beaten up by some dudes. He's living on the street because he stole his bike now. And now he's eating garbage. All because he spent the 500 reals in a casino. But that guy's running around, and over here, Mr. Farmer Man is like, hey, I'll give you a hug. And he's like, I don't know what's going on. And yeah, here's little moments like. And then they get to the beginning, like. And then he says, listen, man, cheer with me, and I'll hook you up. Give me some oats, give you some corn. Give me some carrots, can we have some food? And then finally, he got back on the bike and was like, What's up? What's up, man? What's up? So, after you've enjoyed that little story of mine, anyway, I think the, the, it's just fantastic to see that this ship is trying to pass on positive messages, you know? Giving a bit of a story. Hopefully, the kids that come on down learn that it's important to be good and make the right choices in life. So, that's fantastic. Then they show you a bit of a video about people around the world that are less fortunate. And it's all about, you know, doing something uh, good in life. Have you signed the captain's logbook? That's the captain, by the way. El Capitan, Tom Dyer, USA right there. And this is where you fill that out. So please fill that out. I want to see some, some Qatar action going on here over here. And then they've got a bit of a cafeteria so you can come and enjoy and eat some food. And guys, this is the very end. I had to reshoot this because the iPhone decided to delete it. But I guess it's kind of good because I have to show you this. This is what the parking lot looks like. Sadly, it's like, you know, it's a little bit of a sand pit. If you don't have a 4x4, watch out because, uh, yeah, if you got a low car, you're not going to be able to make it into this parking lot area. Um, at least we get to take a look at the, you know, the towers and that sort of thing. Um, over there, this is the bus that takes you, shuttles you over to the, the, the boat itself. And anyway, I just think it's fantastic that you have many different volunteers from around the world coming together and just trying to, I don't know, you know, just trying to spread literature and edu educate. I was going to say edutainment for a second. <laughs> it is edutainment though, because it's education and entertainment wrapped in one. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video and the quick tour and uh, hopefully it was uh, beneficial to uh, at least some of you. Please don't forget to thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And again, all of the information is available on ilovecutar.net. Thank you very much.